Hey everybody, Brandon here, and I realize that I have not been putting up for reviews as often as I used to, and I apologize for that. However, though, I will give in to, well, this month, because as everyone knows, Christmas is just around the corner. And so I will be posting at least two reviews on two recent Christmas films that I enjoy. One, which is one of my absolute favorites. Today, we'll be looking at Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas is a film that was released back in 1993, and is actually one of the very first stop-motion animated films I ever watched as a kid. The story takes place on a very fictional place known as Halloween Town, where of course its residents love Halloween. However, their host, or the man of the hour, Jack Skeleton, is now grown tired of the holiday and tired of the same routine they pull off every year. So, to go and think to himself, he wanders out into the woods and discovers a number of doors that lead to different holiday-themed worlds. And so, ironically, the one that Jack picks out is the Christmas one. So now Jack is now obsessed with the Christmas holiday and decides that Halloween Town will celebrate Christmas this year, even going so far as to decide to become Santa Claus and deliver presents to children all around the world. However, Sally, uh, Jack's love interest, has a horrible premonition that everything will go completely and utterly wrong. Will it turn out to be true? The Nightmare Before Christmas is definitely one of my favorite Christmas films ever, at least in my top 10. I mean, I loved it as a little kid, and I still love it to this day. Even though Tim Burton did not have, like, full control or full directory control on this film, his gothic art style is definitely seen here, where it's very creative but frightening characters, and of course it's visual imagery. The characters are just memorable in this film. I mean, for one thing, Jack Skellington is just an all-around likable guy, even though he's so-called the Pumpkin King. And if of course, is played by Chris Sarandon, who does a very good job in his role, and would actually continue to play his character in the Nightmare Before Christmas video game, and of course, the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Catherine O'Hara, or better known as Katie McAllister from the Home Alone franchise, is just perfect for the role as Sally. Just a very shy, timid girl who doesn't like to say much, but wants to tell Jack about the upcoming danger that is going to fall upon him when he tries to celebrate Christmas. Of course, there are a lot of other characters as well, but the one I must mention is the evil villain in this film, known as Oogie Boogie, played by Ken Page. That's right, it's King Gator from All Dogs Go to Heaven. And now if I mentioned and satisfied my compulsive need to mention All Dogs in every one of my reviews, let's move on. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. The music in the film is just phenomenal. I mean, each one of the songs in it has its memorable in its own way. From the very epic This is Halloween at the very beginning of the film, to Jack singing about your, um, his discovery of Christmas Town, to Sally's sad and sentimental song about Jack not being able to acknowledge her feelings for him. I mean, it's just all so great. The one and only criticism that I will say about The Nightmare Before Christmas is that, well, how do I put this? It's a little... scary. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this film, but there are just some things in this film that really, well, kind of disturbed me or just really scared me a little. I used to have a neighbor who downright refused to watch this film just because it scared him so bad. So, I wouldn't really recommend this to kids who are easily scared or anything like that. Because there's definitely some frightening images in this film. Heck, some of the parts that you still can't really watch to this day. As frightening as it may seem, The Nightmare Before Christmas is still a great film. It's not only a Christmas film, but that of Halloween as well. It successfully combines two of the world's favorite holidays into one. So if you're a fan of Tim Burton, or just want to see a brand new holiday film, definitely do check it out. It really shows that Disney can do something different besides a standard 2D animation film. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this review. I'd like to thank my good friend Urban for everyone, who has requested this a very long time ago. And please stay tuned, because I have one more review to do, and it's on a holiday classic. So until then, I'll see you all next time. The sights, the sounds, they're everywhere and all around. I've never felt so good before. This empty place inside of me is filling up. I simply cannot get enough. I want to know, I want to know, I want it for my own. I've got to know, I've got to know what is this place that I have found. What?